Christmas star. And stay tuned and be sure to, uh, at the end of the show, today I'm going to tell you an amazing story about how this Christmas star painting uh, came about and what inspired me to do this. And not just one painting, but two. So, uh, and again, if you like this video and you like what we're doing here at the AMAC, be sure to hit that like button and ring the bell so you'll be sent those notifications and you don't miss a thing. So, let's go ahead and I want to start um, putting some neon green down in here in the grass. And like I said, I've been working on this one for a while now. I had originally decided that I was first going to do the manger scene, which you all seen in the last video. And uh, this one has Bethlehem here in the background, and it needed more detail work. And I knew that this one was going to take more time to do. And the manger scene, I knew that that would be a great, fun, festive, uh, quick painting tutorial to share with you all at home. And stay tuned in the next couple days. Uh, we're going to finish that one up all together. So, I uh, want to show everyone the colors we're going to be using. And in the last video, we had the phalo green here and the titanium white, of course, and the phalo blue right there. And the burnt sienna and yellow ochre and lemon yellow. Okay, so I have already pre mixed up here some neon green that we're going to be using today in this painting, and the title of this painting. I finally decided that it is going to be called The Three Kings of Orient Are. Something with Bethlehem, and I can't remember the rest, but anyhow, you all see the title and all of that later. Okay, so, um, we're going to start out with our neon green today, and then I want to go over here, and we're going to mix some of this lemon yellow, and I'm currently out of the Indian yellow, so I may just bring in a tad of this here from the last video, some of our black and darker burnt umber, and make this more of a gold turban and I want to go with more of an emerald maybe maybe a darker emerald for his robe over here and of course uh, if we have time I want to go ahead and try to lighten in some of this here the glow on the star and uh, make it look more like a fog and sort of bring out that white highlight now that this has had time to dry. So let's go ahead and get started with some of our neon green. And we're going to go with this one. This looks like a good little brush to use. And then I'm going to go lighter on the other side of the brush.
listen to some Christmas music. That would be fairly festive to go along with this video too. How about We for Kings of Orient Art? Since that's going to be part of the title for this painting. some gold in the turban.
Christmas song is I'll Be Home for Christmas or whatever we can find. situations where a little is a lot. your glow there with your star and you just kind of just keep working with it like how I'm doing 
Because remember, you have your phthalo glue underneath. And the same process that I went about with this painting is similar with the last video on the major scene. So, um, I was going to go ahead and work on the tree branches, but I want to take a moment and sit down and tell you about uh, what inspired me on this painting. Uh, from the beginning and for years now there is many paintings that you know I've seen and wanted to do some Christmas paintings of and this year was my first year that I decided to do any Christmas painting ever so these are my first two paintings this year, and there were at least a hundred different Christmas scenes that I was thinking about doing, and I couldn't make my mind up, and my mind was just totally baffled. So, to make a long story short, I just quit thinking about it and give it a couple days and I said you know what of all of these Christmas paintings that I've wanted to do for so many years why not just keep it something simple traditional and so glad that I did because it just came to me and I said well there was this old manger scene that I grew up seeing. It was some of, in some of my grandmother's Christmas decorations, actually. And it's a little manger scene made out of wood. So cute. And so I decided to incorporate that. And I knew that I wanted to have the Christmas star in it. And the three kings coming beyond the horizon which you will all see that in the next video. We will focus on the three camels and the baby Jesus in the major scene. But this one that we done today with the three kings of Orient are overlooking Bethlehem and seeing the star. Well, so I decided those were going to be my two Christmas paintings for 2020. 20. Well, guess what? Three to four weeks later, I heard that for the first time in 800 years that we are going to have a Christmas star this year. So then I knew that, wow, you know, just being led by the Spirit and just, you know, instead of what I thought I could create, being led by the Lord and His Spirit led to something much more amazing. And I just had to share that with all of you because I still find it quite fascinating that I was just naturally led to do two Christmas paintings, not just one, two of the Christmas star. And three to four weeks later, I find out in fact, we are having a Christmas star this year for 2020, and I had no idea. So, I just had to share that with you guys, because I find that just absolutely fascinating, and I just think it's amazing. After the year we've had this uh, past year in 2020, when I look at my painting and look at the star, I think, wow, you know, that should give us hope, you know, that, hey, 2020 was a bad and rough year, sure, 2020 21. may be worse, may be better, but whatever, you know, happens, no matter what, Jesus is our hope, and I think, me personally, that's the reason for us having this Christmas star this year because 
who knows what the future holds for each and every one of us. But we should focus on Jesus and not the storm. So, and until we meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.